Hello students, in today's video, let us prove one theorem based on a parallelogram. The statement of the theorem is, a quadrilateral is a parallelogram if a pair of its opposite sides is parallel and congruent. To prove this theorem, we need a diagram. So let us consider a quadrilateral A, B, C, D, in which it is given that the pair of opposite sides is parallel and a congruent. That is the one pair of opposite sides of a quadrilateral is parallel and congruent. So for this case, segment CB is congruent to segment DA. So CB and DA, these are the opposite sides of this quadrilateral which are congruent and CB is parallel to DA. Means the same pair of opposite sides is parallel also. So this is given and from this we have to prove that quadrilateral A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. To prove this, we need one construction. We have to draw a diagonal BD. Now, by having this construction, we'll start with the proof. By doing a construction, that is by drawing a diagonal BD, we have got two triangles. Triangle CBD, that is triangle CBD and triangle ADB. So, we have these two triangles due to the construction. We are going to try to prove that these two triangles are congruent. So for these two triangles, we have the congruent constituents. The first is segment CB is congruent to segment DA as it is given. That is segment CB is given to be congruent to segment DA. So this is the first constituent. Now the second constituent is angle CBD and angle ADB. These two angles angle CBD and angle ADB. These two angles are alternate angles and it is given that CB is parallel to DA. If these two lines are parallel and if we consider BD as their transversal, then these two angles are alternate angles and we know that if two lines are parallel, then the alternate angles formed are congruent. That's why this is the second constituent of these two triangles. That is angle CBD is congruent to angle ADB. Now the third constituent is segment BD is congruent to segment BD as it is a common side for both of these two triangles. That's why these two triangles are congruent by SAS test because there are two sides and angle between them is congruent to the corresponding sides of another triangle and the angle between them. That's why these two triangles are congruent by SAS test. So triangle CBD is congruent to triangle ADB. And we know that if two triangles are congruent, then their corresponding sides and corresponding angles are also congruent. So here we consider angle CDB. So if we take angle CDB, which is congruent to angle ABD which are the corresponding angles of these two congruent triangles. And as we can see here, if we consider side CD and side BA and BD as the transversal, then these two angles are alternate angles. And we have proved here that these two angles are congruent. Therefore, by alternate angle test for parallel lines, we have side CD is parallel to side BA. Is side CD is parallel to side BA of quadrilateral ABCD. So here in the first part it is given that CB is parallel to DA which is the first pair of opposite sides and we have proved here that CD is also parallel to BA which is the second pair of opposite sides of this quadrilateral. So for this quadrilateral ABCD both the pairs of opposite sides are parallel. So by definition of parallelogram, we can conclude that quadrilateral ABCD is a parallelogram. That is we wanted to prove. A quadrilateral is a parallelogram if a pair of its opposite sides is parallel and congruent.